This is session 13. Are you ready for the main event? Battle number 13, the fatal battle. The category raises to 95 kilograms plus 95 kilograms. You will see some real giants in here. The rule set is KWU full contact. Your referee, another giant. The legendary High Tower, Mr. Sammy Shield. And now, let me introduce you the first fighter in the red corner from Germany, Nenad Kosic. Nenad Kosic representing Germany will compete for the very first time here in the ring of Senshi. He has a chance to make a statement in the main event against a fighter that has already won wins in Senshi, Yuri Adal from Estonia. Nenad Kosic is 29 years of age, Balkan kickboxing champion and a champion and a finalist of FFC Future Tournament in Croatia, which he comes from. Ladies and gentlemen, so One he comes from time. Croatia, but he fights for Germany. Yes, yes. Okay. The red corner from Germany. Like Stefan Lebo, for example. Yeah. Kosi. And now another giant guy. His opponent in the blue corner. Make some noise for Estonia and. Uko Four years older and eight centimeters taller, 10 kilograms heavier, Uko Jurgenau from Estonia, who is also Muay Thai world champion in IFMA from 2014. He has been doing this for more than 10 years now. Steps in the ring of Senshi one more time, looking for one more victory. A win in the main event here will definitely boost him up for one more performance here and one more invitation for Senshi. Sammy Shield will be the referee of the main event here. Yeah, I wonder what kind of fight it will be. Um, they both look like strong guys. Yeah, definitely. And big guys. And, uh, One punch can change it all. <laughs> for sure. See their last instructions from Semi Shield. The karate style. Oku Yuri Dao seems a bit lighter than we usually see him. Yeah, yeah now you say it, it looks like he uh, lost <laughs> some weight. <laughs> yeah, he looks a bit trimmed down. Yeah. Maybe this will help him move faster. Nice block here by Okuyuri and Dao. Kostic definitely looks like the smaller man, but really fast with those combinations. Yeah, well the left uh, the left jab uh, looks looked very good actually. Staying calm and composed with upright stance, both fighters in orthodox position. Feeling each other out a little bit. Nice one too by Uku. Yeah, it looks like he takes his time. He doesn't uh, rush. And of course, for the heavy guys, uh, it takes a lot of energy, of course, to uh, if you want to rush right away. Mm -hmm. And it's a long fight. It might go to a fourth round. They have to pace themselves. Yeah, well, you know, in the old days, it was always five <laughs> times three minutes. So K1 changed everything. Yeah. And of course, I'm happy to be K1 champion, but some things I don't like. Both 
old fighters showing maturity. Oh, a nice trademark super punch that Uko uses in all his fights we've seen so far. Mm -hmm. Kind of Superman style. <laughs> Classic combination, a left hook and a kick to the body. Uko picking his moment to shoot. Yeah, uh, but Ney not stay, stays composed and uh, looks like he's not uh, uh, impressed. Mm -hmm. He's definitely not fearing the power of Fuku, not his size. Well, you know, no, you never know that when you fight sometimes you yeah. don't show, but you <laughs> feel it. I know that uh, from experience. But um, for now it looks like he, uh, is, he is pretty okay. Half minute to go. It's crazy how fast he lifted his leg all the way up to Uku's head with no problem. Yeah, I think I, I, he must have, I think he have a, he have a, he has a, a karate background. Oh, now they're Oh, now they're, now they're swinging in a yes, high kick somewhere in the changing. That's now not the position where Kosic needs to be. He needs to move around from there. Well, it's like uh, I give you one, you give me one. Yeah. That's not what you want to do, trade shots with Uko right now. Oh, you know, but it's nice for the, for the crowd. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure they enjoyed it. Very close round. I don't know if this last exchange was more in uh, in favor of Fuku Urenda or more for Nenad Kosic. It will be hard to judge this one. I think it's hard. Uh, so maybe it's, it's just uh, a draw. Because they both uh, exchanged. They both had to, t had to take some punches and kicks. And uh, they were both very active. I think Uku was a little bit more aggressive, but uh, Nena did uh, his thing too. So yeah, could go both ways this round. Both of so them choosing to stand, still in his corner, not to sit. Maybe they are conditioned very well to be in the main event of Senshi. It's only it's three rounds. <laughs> Basically, I never sit, I never sat when I was fighting three uh -huh. rounds. No. Fight. Second round we're heading into. Let's see if they will open up a little bit more. Now when they know what to expect. Yeah, they both Ooh. look, they both, I just I wanted to say, they both look like they can exchange anytime. And this is just what they did. A Superman style. Ukulus Ram trying to do some feints. Well, he's, he's feeling confident, that's for sure. Ooh, that was a nice jab that countered. They're both taking the time now, a little bit too much. They should do more action. Maybe Sammy has to urge them to uh, do more, a little bit more, but because now they're feeling each other out too much. Enjoying the rain. <laughs> one minute and 50 seconds left. Uku using the jab and then in a one, two. Yeah, it really looks, it looks like they're saving their, their energy or something. Again with the mid kick. So let me let's hope that they uh, would save the energy for the last uh, 80 seconds of this round. Oh, now oh, a nice, nice right hand, uh, nice high kick and a low kick. So Great. if you make a combination like this, that means that you have a lot of potential. Mm -hmm. So why don't you do it a little bit more? I would think. But may I cannot see, maybe his condition is not so good. Ooh, now uh, yeah. this landed just underneath the elbow of Uku Yure now. It, it looks like Uku is a little bit... Uh, Hesitant. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, impressed or something. Or yeah. Because Nenat is doing good things, only not, not, not enough, in my opinion. 
you should do more. Oh, now a nice right hand, yeah. almost landed on the chin of Okuyuri now. Nice. You, I, I, I really think he, he, he underestimates his own potential. That, that's how it looks like. Maybe because of uh, the height, the, 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 the big man he fights. Yeah. But uh, it's, it's no problem for him. He's a good, very good counter. So his, his eye, his, his sight is still very good. Yeah, nice interesting round. round for Nenad Kotic. I think he yeah. got this one in the book yeah. for him. I think so too. So what I think is because uh, Ukur is really uh, disciplined with his boxing and keeps mm -hmm. his hands high, mm -hmm. maybe he should use some way to lower his hands, like attacking the body a bit more with the punches, because he blocks really well because he has a really high guard. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, Nenad Kotic would probably keep on doing what he's doing right now and maybe exactly. even more confidently we see that his coach is yeah. uh, giving him yeah. instructions yeah, yeah maybe so uh, i think nenat uh, has a, a big chance to 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 bring the fight to him uh, and, and Uk i think uku is behind on points now and he should come but um, yeah, I'm, not judge. I'm not the judge. So. Yeah. I hope they don't suffer too much from the rain. I, I the rig was not that slippery. Yeah, yeah. that was good. But uh, I hope it uh, will not affect all well, last round, last fight. Uko was jumping around on his toes, looking fresh. Yeah, well, attacking more confidently now. Uh, they both look fresh because. Uh, Nenat is also looking uh, yeah. uh, confident. A nice combination here with uh, two punches and a low kick. We saw many tactical battles tonight, but I think so far this is like probably the most tactical fight. Uh, yeah, despite maybe. what you might l see from the, the looks of those mm -hmm. guys, you would mm -hmm. think that they would brawl, but mm -hmm. I think it's a very tactical fight, like very... Well, I think, I think, I think Uku is the one who would like to brawl. Yeah. But Nenat is the one who looks and who has the sight and who tries to make the, the right move on the right moment. Yeah, this is, yeah, a good try. Mm -hmm. And the body shot looked good. Nice the straight right here. Hand. Yes. Oh, oh, this was, this was, oh, yeah, and it looks like. Oh, no. Yeah, it was a oh, hard no. punch, the hard right hook. Oh, and, no. Uh, Things were going well for Nenat Kosic, but. What a right hand by Ukuyuri now. I don't know if he'll be able to make it. Well, Uku is going to, to smell. He's smelling blood oh, now, no. so now it's going to be a very interesting fight. Oh, semi. Luckily for, for, for Nenat, he got some extra time. Maybe it helps him. But Sammy gave him a chance to fight back. Oh, I don't know, Sammy, he looked at the, at the judges, so maybe that was there was a problem there. One minute but and 40, uh, can Uku is going for it. This. Looks like an eight count, but he doesn't get it. Oh, he gets, yeah. Yeah, he was doubting too much. And now 80 seconds will take a lot of time. Like we said, one punch can change it all. Nenad yeah. was in charge of the fight. Yeah. And just one right hand. But Uku is a very strong <laughs> this guy. This is the end of the fight. This is the end of the fight. Another win, another performance for Uku Jurgen Dao. He was probably not ahead of the score, in our opinion, here with Ernesto Hus, but. He managed to land a good right hand in the end of round three. And uh, this changed the whole course of the fight. For sure. He scored two more knockdowns after this. And by the rules, three knockdowns means a victory. Yeah, and it's good. It's, 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 it's good for the, for the, for the loser uh, to do it like this. Um, because uh, you, don't want, uh, you don't want the fighter to be knocked out. Heavily, yes, yes. and the so this is good.
this guy here. I have to say this also looked like a slip because the well, the floor, yeah, he was definitely dazed. But the floor is it was quite slippery for the because of the rain. Uku Yurendao, second win here in the Ring of Senshi, great performance for him. And he wins here in the main event, Session 13, 13 amazing fights. We saw a lot of knockouts, we saw a lot of decisions, close fights. Ernesto, thank you so much for commentating so many thank fights, too. And refereeing and running, running around like a madman all night. Yeah, he did good, a for, great my, job, good for my condition. <laughs> He did a great I, job. I haven't trained so much lately, uh -huh. so uh, <laughs> so it was good for me. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank well, you thank so you too, much. and uh, until the next time. Of course. Yes. <laughs> Full of knockouts, TKOs, liver shots. This was really crazy. Extra rounds. This is Senshi, ladies and gents. After a while, we will give some special awards for the nights. The awards are presented by the organizers of Senshi. As you may already know, the special prizes include the next categories, Knockout of the Night, Fighting Spirit and Best Technique. But first of all, last picture for the coaches and this was really one of the greatest fights for the night. That's why it was the last fight of the night. Make some noise for the winner, Uku Yurandao in the blue corner from Estonia. And of course, his opponent, Nenad Kosic. Until, thank you very much, guys. You may now leave the ring. Thank you.